Feeling the lead down is a very simple but crucial skill that should be part of every carp fisherman's armoury. What it allows you to do is get an understanding of the makeup of the lake bed in which your rig is about to be positioned. By learning to feel the lead down, what you'll be able to do is tell whether your rig is landed on gravel, soft seal or weed. I'm sure for a lot of you, feeling the lead down will be second nature, but for perhaps those of you who are just getting into carp fishing, it certainly should be a skill that you're looking to master. So how exactly do I feel the lead down? Now the first thing I do is make a cast and just as the lead is about to hit the water, I trap the line with my finger on the spool. By trapping the line with my finger, it takes all the bow out the line and puts me in direct contact with the lead. If you're feeling the lead down correctly, you'll feel a slight tension as the lead falls down through the water column. The type of bottom you're most commonly going to be looking for is a hard area as this is where you're going to be able to present a rig most effectively. The sensation you'll feel by landing on this will be a hard fud and a kick back of the rod tip. Another type of lake bed that you're going to commonly find yourself fishing over is silt. Now with silt when you feel the lead down you're going to get a much softer drop. Depending on the depth of the silt you still may get a slight fud on the rod but it's not going to be as aggressive as perhaps landing on a gravel spot. And perhaps something that you may not be looking to always present a rig in is weed. When feeling the lead down in weed, you'll feel next to no sensation as the lead is being cushioned by the weed. With regards to feeling the lead down, there simply isn't a substitute for time spent on the bank. The more you do it, the better you are going to be at feeling the sensations on the lake bed. You'll know the difference between gravel, you'll know the difference between hard silt and soft silt and weed. And at the end of the day, it's going to make you a better angler because you're going to be able to present your rigs more effectively.